Hi, I'm Anthony Bryan, Product Evangelist with Jscape. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use public key authentication. First, we're going to generate a public and private key pair using PuTTY. Then we're going to import the public key into Jscape MFT server and associate it with the user account. And then we're going to use the private key with WinSCP to log in to the SFTP service on Jscape MFT server. Here I run PuTTY Key Generator or putty gen and as you can see there's no key yet so we're going to click generate to generate a public private key pair and as you see you need to move the mouse in this area to generate randomness for the key there the key's generated so we'll put in a passphrase and obviously you need to remember this now we're going to save the public key and also save the private key. And then we're done generating the public private key pair. I opened up Jscape MFT Server Manager and we're going to go to File, Key Manager, and then make sure you're on the Client Keys tab. This is where you're going to import the public key for the user that you just generated. So we're going to use the alias test because we're going to associate it with the test user. And then you're going to browse to the file. And then click OK. And it's been imported. Click OK again. Now click on the users node and we'll edit the test user. Under the client key section, we'll select the key we just imported. And there, it's done. Now I just showed you the administrator importing and associating a user's key. And an alternative to that would be to allow the user to log in to the web user interface. And as we're showing you here, import the public key on their own. Now, depending on the situation and your users, you might not want to do this, but it's a nice way to allow the users to manage their own keys without the administrator getting involved. Here's the final step. We're going to run WinSCP, and here we're going to create a session. Put in the host name, username, and password, and then we're going to select the private key that we generated in the first step then you can save it if you're going to be using it over and over and then just click log in now here you're going to want to click yes add host key to the cache and then put in the passphrase from when you created the key and then you're logged in in this video we talked about public key authentication with PuTTY and WinSCP to log into Jscape MFT server through the SFTP service. For more information on Jscape MFT server, please visit jscape.com.